So I've been looking for a solution to geotag my photos for quite some time and I've gone through a lot of different methods um, to find one that I've liked and when I recently moved up to the 5D Mark III there was a new option available to me but maybe I should step back a little bit and just talk about what I mean by geotagging my photos. So every time you take a picture you have the time and the date that the picture was taken written into the EXIF data, that little file that is embedded in the image um, and contains information. Uh, not only time and date, but also the focal length, the camera you shot with, um, your ISO, all of that information. And I've talked before about that being great to review um, and get an idea of, of your shots and what focal length you were taking them at, what aperture and shutter speed and all of that things. There is also room in that data file for location, latitude, longitude, elevation, direction, um, even town and state level information in city. Um, and there are a variety of different methods I've done over the years. Uh, one of the simplest is to carry along a smartphone that has a GPS app on it that is recording your location. You take your pictures, you get back to your computer, you download from the uh, phone the GPS log of where you've been, you download your pictures and you run them through some program, Lightroom 4 will do this now, but there are other programs out there as well that will match up the time and say, well, you took this picture at 6.02 p.m. and let's look at the GPS log and at 6.02 p.m. you were right here, so we're gonna put the picture right here. And it works fairly well, but it does require that additional step and you do have to remember to always be running the app on your phone and depending on the app, um, some are better with battery life than others, so some are actually very good now um, and do a really nice job of conserving so they don't run it out. I wanted something, I'm going to be doing some traveling soon in the coming weeks, and I really wanted something that was kind of a no-think solution. And as I said, moving up to the 5D Mark III allowed that now because Canon has this GP-E2 uh, GPS receiver. It's really nice. It sits up here in the hot shoe of, you can stick it in any camera, but on a 5D Mark II and the 1DX, that's all you have to do. You put it in the hot shoe, you turn it on, the little lights blink, they blink fast for about 15 to 20 seconds before it gets uh, the GPS signal, um, and then they just blink slow. You can use the back of the camera, the menu system, to record or to set up the settings how often you want it to record from every second to every five minutes. Obviously, um, the more often you're having it record, the more often or the, the shorter your battery life is going to be. Uh, battery life is estimated to be about around 10 hours on one AA battery uh, if you have it record every second. That's a little excessive. Um, if you were just kind of general travel, walking around and things of that sort, every 15 to every 30 seconds should be fine and you're going to get a full day of battery life out of that and by full day I'm, we're talking 16 to 20 hours of battery life. Um, you can go up to every two minutes even if you don't care about um, super precision. Uh, I've played with this just a little bit. I uh, drove to work, took some pictures as I was driving on the way to work and on the way back um, and you know it, it did a really nice job. What I like about it is that as you take the picture GPS writes that data um, into the image file when you get back to the computer, you just simply download the pictures like you would any other time. And as soon as you bring them up in Lightroom and move over to the map module, which is what I'm in right here now, um, there are the images you took plotted on the map. And you can zoom in and you can, of course, pick a, uh, an image and see it um, on the map. So it's really nice. Um, it seems to work really well. It's a little bit bigger than I expected, um, but as I said, there's not much to it. It's really kind of a no-think solution, and it can just sit up there. Now, if you don't have a 5D Mark III or the 1DX, both of which are, are quite expensive cameras, this will work with the Canon 7D um, with just a little bit less functionality. One of the things built in is not only will it do your location, but it will do uh, the direction you're facing, the compass direction. It will not do that with the Canon 7D. Um, it also needs this little extra cable here when you use it with the 7D. And um, it can sit up in the hot shoe, but it needs to be connected 
from this little digital port here um, into the side of the 7D. Now, downsides, it's not cheap. It's uh, $250. And if you don't have the 5D Mark III or the 1DX, um, it's not a whole lot of use to you, but you could still use it because it has this log feature. The log feature will do basically what I was talking about with the smartphones earlier. It will simply record where you are, a track of where you've been, you come back to the computer, you download it through the EOS utility. So this all came with the, uh, I put it away, too far away to get back again already, but this all came with a little EOS solutions disk. I never install that stuff because usually it's fairly junky and I thought, well, this time I need it to get the log off here. I'm going to talk about it so I better know what I'm talking about. I downloaded it and, or sorry, installed it. It took forever to install. It needed several updates, one of which was Microsoft Silverlight. That's a little bit annoying in itself. Um, and then it's just really um, not very good software. It's uh, not intuitive. The user interface is not very pretty. And I could not figure out how to get a log file to sync up with a, um, with a group of images within its own program. I know how to do that very easily in Lightroom, but I could not figure that out in the about five to 10 minutes that I spent looking at it in the map utility. And so I will be uninstalling that very soon because there's no purpose um, for me to have it because I'll be using the direct into camera feature. But as I said, if you didn't have that, you could use the log, but I don't think that's the best way to go because for $250, um, you can get some very nice standalone GPSs that will record to GPX tracks, good battery life. They actually have a screen so you can use them to know where you are. Some of those are waterproof. Um, they even have very small ones um, that are similar to this that will do the logging function. The only downside of those, of course, is you all need to come back to the computer and uh, get that log file and spend time matching up the pictures. It's not a big deal, um, but it is an extra step. Uh, as I said, the smartphone also has the option as well, and there are some really neat apps for that um, that I will post up um, shortly after this video that will give you some information about that. It also comes with this nifty little bag that you can shove it in and use um, when it's not on the hot shoe. I probably won't be using that very often. And it comes with this nifty little pouch. So a lot of kind of extra stuff there that I'm not sure need a lot. But if you have a 5D Mark III or a 1DX and you are looking for the NoThink solution to geotag your pictures, this is certainly a very nice option. If you have any questions about this, uh, geotagging your photos in general, the map module in Lightroom 4, I would be happy to answer those. Just leave a comment down below or find me on Facebook. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.